everyone. Today we'll be looking at remote controls, especially the wireless protocol they use to communicate with the device. Now my family seems to have five different types of remote controls and the wireless protocols used by each of them seems to be different. This is the fan remote control and it uses RF radio frequency. This is the Apple TV fourth generation and it seems to use two wireless protocols, infrared as well as Bluetooth. And finally, the last three, uh, this is for the projector, the bank projector, this is the Roomba. And finally, uh, Mitsubishi Electric uh, Aircon, they all seem to use infrared. So infrared seems to be very, very popular. It's being used in remote controls for literally decades. It's a very, very old protocol. So for today, we will be playing with the infrared uh, protocol remote controls. So we'll be recording the signals and then replaying back. And for this, we'll be using Arduino Uno and a very, very simple circuit that has basically an IR infrared receiver and an emitter or an IR LED. And uh, for the firmware, we will be using a very, very handy IR Lib2 based on the Arduino firmware. Huge thanks to Adafruit once again that goes through the tutorial. Now, specifically inside this uh, library, I will be using the raw signal, the raw code to send and receive because I found this is the easiest way to deal with any kind of protocol without decoding it. For the first uh, circuit, we will basically try to receive the raw infrared protocol. And for that, we will be using an IR receiver, which is uh, TSOP4838, the one that I'm using. And basically it all connects to the three pins, the ground, the five volts, and for the pin number one, it will go to Arduino pin two. So if I show the actual circuit diagram with the Arduino board and the breadboard, you can see that it is really, really simple. This tiny little device here is the IR receiver. So let's go ahead and look at the firmware code. We will kind of include the IR receive uh, library and then we will instantiate the variable and say, hey, connect it to pin two which is exactly what we are doing for the IR receiver here, Arduino pin two. And then uh, for any Arduino code, we have the setup and the loop. So let's look inside the setup. I have some pre-populated code because these are really easy. I will just do a serial begin and then receiver to enable the infrared. And I will print some stuff to just say that, hey, you know, we are waiting for the remote control IR uh, to be received and press your remote control. Now inside the loop is where we will try to record the actual raw signal. Inside the loop without any delay, as you can see, uh, I will be uh, basically trying to detect whether it gets a result. And if it gets the result, it will detect the length as well as the array. And finally, the last element of the array will be 1000 and we will basically print it out. So for the array, I'm gonna print it once again. And in this case, it will be a receive global object and we will basically print out the length and we'll denote it as a decimal. So that's what we will do to print out the length of the entire raw code. Now for the array element of the actual raw code, it seems to be in uint 16 integer. So for this, we will basically have to uh, do a for loop to print them all out. So let's do the for loop and we will instantiate a variable buffer index. Let's start it from one and the length will basically be the same as this and I plus plus. And inside the for loop, let's do a print we will basically start to receive each of the array element and we'll print it in the decimal format. Let's also do uh, the comma. And just for the sake of uh, visual uh, legibility, we will just print it uh, every eight elements on a line. So we will do a modulus eight. And when that happens, we will print a new line. All right, and as a final note, it will be 1000 as the final element. 
and we will have to enable the IR once again. So that looks good to me, but uh, let's test it out. Let's compile and try to upload it. This is just some linting error and it looks like it's uploading it. All right, so let me open the serial monitor and I'll connect it to the port. And there you see it's ready to receive the IR signal. So for the first example, let's use the Apple TV remote. Uh, I will try to point it to the circuit right here and press the buttons. And we will see that nothing is happening until I actually go and press the volume up and down button. So this is the up and this is the down volume button. So that's pretty interesting. It seems like it's an array length of 68. So I'm going to clear the data. And maybe the next one that I will try is uh, this projector one. So I'm just going to press the on button and then the off button. It also seems like an array element of 68. How about the rest of the buttons? Like I'm pressing all sorts of buttons here, um, like channel and uh, play and fast forward, eco blank. So these, this is the projector one. And uh, then let me try the Roomba. This is the Roomba one. So spot, clear, forward, left, right. So the Roomba seems to have a lot uh, shorter, the array elements. And finally, let me try the aircon one. Uh, the aircon one is uh, right here and I'm just gonna press on and off button. So this is the off button. That's quite a long one. This is the off button and it's a length of 292. And uh, let me go ahead and uh, press the on button now. All right, so I've on the aircon. So that seems really, really interesting. Now this is uh, what uh, we are doing to basically record the raw infrared signals. Now at the start of the library, we have acquired this uh, IRLib receive PCI header file. And if we go ahead and look at the header file on GitHub and read about how they actually do the decoding, it's a huge thanks to the people behind Analyze IR Signal. So I highly recommend you to check this out, analyzeir.com, if you want to get into the nitty gritty details of the actual infrared decoding. A lot of information here, and I believe they also provide a service. So back to the signal that we captured, the aircon signal that we captured, what do we do with it? So we are going to copy the raw data length 292 and the entire array. The first one was off signal. Ensure that even until the last element 1000 is copied. And we will basically create a data.h empty file. And let me paste it there. So there you see all the 292 elements. And let me just name it as off. So data.h is the file that we will import in another uh, Arduino file. Similarly, we will go ahead and do the same for the on aircon command. And let me just copy them all the way until the last element and paste it after the off command. And let me go ahead and name it as on. So once again, we have two commands that we have recorded. One is the off command and the other one is the on command for the aircon. So now that we have uh, the recorded uh, signal, let's go ahead and create the circuit. For this, we will have a tiny NPN transistor and it will be linked to Arduino pin three via a resistor. And then we will use an IR LED to basically emit the signal that we recorded. And when I actually do the uh, wiring up, it looks a lot like this. So this is the transistor, the tiny 2N222 transistor. And this is the IR LED, the emitter. It actually looks like a white LED and a couple of resistors. And they are basically connected to pin three as we have noted in the schematic as well. So let's uh, go ahead and look at the uh, raw emit Arduino file. So for this, uh, we will be acquiring 
another two header files, and they also come from uh, the IR2 library. So they are actually inside the lib protocol, and uh, I'll be using basically the send uh, base. And I will also include the data.h. And as usual, let's open up uh, the setup. The setup is really nothing. I'll just be printing out. And then inside the loop, uh, all I'll be doing is um, every five seconds, just send the on and uh, every five seconds, just send the off. But of course, before I do that, I need to instantiate the infrared object. So to do that, it will be send raw and then maybe just my sender. And inside the loop, after declaring that we are sending it, it will be my sender dot send. And we will have three parameters. One is the raw data say on, and then the raw data length. And finally, it's the frequency. And we will do the same thing for the off as well. But of course, this needs to be off. So once again, how do I know these are the three parameters? Well, we just go back to the code once again. And there you see, this is how they are defining the send function under the class IR sendra. As you can see, uh, these are the three parameters. The last one is a frequency and it defaults to 38. So I'm just using 38. So as you can see, it's really, really simple. Uh, why don't we try it out? So let me compile and uh, flash it in because I have to close my serial monitor, of course. And let's try once again. So, yep, it has uploaded to Arduino Uno with this port. So why don't we try it out? Let's connect to the port. So it is already sending it. Now, I will have to actually <laughs> point it to my aircon in a line of sight. And there you see that was one. And that was off. <laughs> So of course, uh, with breadboard, it becomes a little bit more cumbersome. And this is where we make the decision that, hey, you know, let's make a PCB. Let's uh, put the wires out, clean it up. But uh, it's really fun, I thought, uh, to uh, just record and then replay it back. Uh, I would love to hear from you if you are also playing with IR, maybe with uh, some other kind of microcontroller such as ESP. And I'm sure there are other kinds of libraries to play with infrared as well. But if you want to do very, very simple, just some interlock or hooks to uh, kind of replay a command based on certain condition, uh, this could be one of the ways just record the command thanks to the work that Analyze IR and the IRLib2 has done and then sort of replay it back. So let me know what you think. Uh, what IR protocol uh, libraries are you using? What hardware are you using? And let's share. Thank you so much.